on, gang? Danny Coker here, a.k.a. The Count. Thank you for tuning in to Count's Culture right here on the Count's Customs YouTube channel. We've been working with John Heaster. He's back east. He's got these dealerships. He's got great, great people working with him. They're working on 14 different vehicles with 14 different teams on restoring and fixing up these vehicles during this, you know, lockdown period. Appreciate you tuning in, seeing what's going on. We're going to check in with some of the teams right now. So let's see what's happening. What's happening? How you guys doing today? Great. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear it, man. You know, it's it's uh it's crazy times we live in. How are you three holding up? You guys all doing okay? Oh yeah, we're doing great. Amen. That's fantastic. Uh I don't know how you guys are gonna choose who goes first, but uh give me your names, please. Um Harold. I'm Ben. I'm Blaze. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. It's a pleasure. Wh which dealership are you guys with? Wh which which Easter dealership? Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Sanford. Got it. Got it. Absolutely. Very cool. What I would like to know is I'd like to know what vehicle have you guys gotten and what are you guys working on? The, the 1978 Jeep. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Let me see. We got a picture. I know here on, on, on my end. Okay. I got, a, I got a team here. Let me see this. All right. Now, what is it? A Jeep CJ what? I believe it's CJ5. Nice. 78 CJ5. Very, very cool. All right. And let me ask you a couple questions first. What is the good parts on this Jeep, on this 78 Jeep? What do you like about it so far? What's good? I heard it start the other day for the first time, and uh, I really like the way it sounds. That thing sounds like it has a lot of power. Great. What's it got for an engine? It's the 304. The 304. Got it. Got yes, it. Sir. Got it. Familiar with that. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, um, what's bad about this Jeep besides the rust? And the only reason I say besides the rust, every Jeep rusts. So I already know that. I think they came factory with rust. I think, you, I think it was an option. In 78, you could order it with the rust or, or without the rust. But anyway, yeah. How, how, what, what's, what's the bad on the Jeep? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the biggest part is, you know, figuring out where or how to make all the new parts fit. Because when it came in, it was pretty much a rolling chassis with the engine and transmission. And wow. There was, we had to, we're, we're having to figure out how to piece it back together. Wow. What, what kind of shape is the body in? Is it, is it rusty? Is it straight? Is it decent? Is it solid? Well, um, it's been rhino lined. It's rhino lined. Okay. All right, nothing wrong with that. Let me tell you, that's 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 not a bad thing at all on a, on a Jeep. But uh, okay, so it's Rhino lined underneath and inside. Yeah, everywhere. Cool. I got I got no problems with that. What about the interior? What kind of shape's that in? Um, it's it's pretty bare. It looks like they put new seats, kind of like a neoprene finish on them. Um, but it, it's pretty bare. It's got you know just a bare metal floor with the Rhino line in it and uh just some new seats got it okay all right all right well here's here's what we're gonna do on on the question part we're gonna do three questions and three answers out of me and we're gonna do them inside of three minutes at the end of those three minutes man my box here that i'm in disappears it's gone it's over so let me just say this now good luck to you gentlemen on the building of this jeep uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and, uh, and I hope everything goes really well. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on this. Three minutes on the clock. Let's do three questions. Have at it. Uh, the Jeep has a roll bar in it. We're not sure if it meets specifications. How can we check that? Uh, you could roll it. <laughs> If, if, if I had to guess, does it, does it look like it came from the factory? Does it look like the factory roll bar? It's, it's been modified. It's been modified. 
Uh, in, in, in all honesty, I don't know that there is a proper way to check if it meets specifications. Now, you guys are in the Carolinas. I'm certain you guys know some NASCAR guys that can that can come out and check that roll bar to make sure that it meets all the tolerances, that the welds are correct, and that the tolerance of, of the thickness of the, of the gauge of the steel is all correct and up to legal standards. That would be the only way that that that, that I would know outside of, of rolling it and make sure you survive. But uh, uh, I, I, you know, get get one of your NASCAR guys there. Uh, call call one of Chip Ganassi's fellas uh, out there and 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 have him come check it out because uh, they know how to check the roll bar specs. That's that that's a tough one. That's a tough one. But if it looks cool, you're ahead right there. What's the next question? Well, currently the Jeep has a four inch lift. What would you recommend? Keeping the four inch lift or, or changing the lift? I would keep the lift. I would keep the lift because because you're doing a custom vehicle anyway. So you're not restoring it. You're not going back to original. And in custom vehicles, in my opinion, there are no rules. I love to see a Jeep that's lifted. I think a four inch lift is a reasonable lift. I've seen them lifted crazy high, which really kind of makes them undrivable and unfun. I think a four inch lift looks good. And I think it's a reasonable lift that still makes it straight readable and drivable and yet you can take it off road and have fun with it and then if you outfit it with a proper wheel and tire combo to really macho it up a little bit i think a four inch lift is good i'd, I'd keep it if it all if it all looks good and feels good okay yeah next question and we're good we're we got 56 seconds all right so the jeep has side exit exhaust that is uh facing downward and uh it could be a concern uh while you're going off road um if water or mud you get up that high to the exhaust could that be a problem uh you know exhaust can always be a problem when you get in water and mud and things like that but the good thing about the exhaust is it's blowing out so it, 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 at least it's not an air intake that you need to get up high if you get in water and mud so i don't think i'd be too concerned because it's it's exiting so for the most part you got that going for you but if there is a way to tuck it up better i don't i also don't mind the side exiting but the facing down might be a little bit of a problem you might want to change that out to where it's just kicking straight out as opposed to facing down and and, and without being able to see the vehicle i hope that answer made sense Gentlemen, peace. <laughs>